the component parts of the books that I wrote on the Beatles was put together on the publisher's dime and my ability and desire to go and interview people that had not previously been interviewed. That was always the mandate for these books. Unknown information, photos people hadn't seen, and I, I'm sure that's why they were successful. Sometimes controversial, but successful. So I would get an advance from the publisher instead of putting a new edition on my house in Lockport, New York, although there was lots of renovation for 20 years. I said, well, I'm going to go to Liverpool and I'm going to find the cousins and the uncles and the aunties and the next door neighbors that no one's ever talked to. And I did. Of course, the John Lennon, my brother book came out of that when I found Julia Baird, John's sister, working as a French teacher in Chester, England. She took me to their old house at 3 Blomfield Road in Liverpool and introduced me to the current resident whose, whose name was Georgie Wood. Now, if you go back to the Let It Be album, you'll hear John Lennon say something, and Georgie Wood, blah, 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 uh, yeah, just before Let It Be. So Georgie Wood's a real guy. I don't think anybody's met Georgie Wood, but me and, of course, the Beatles way back when, and I Maybe people thought he was a fictional character, but no, he was a guy, he's a gardener. Won all kinds of awards by making that uh, former uh, home for John's mother, uh, Julia Lennon, Stanley Lennon. Uh, beautiful with all the flowers and shrubbery that he'd put around there. So that's the kind of thing, you know, interviewing Georgie Wood, um, interviewing Dr. Leela Harvey, who was the closest to John when he was growing up. That's uh, John's cousin. And that was an interesting interview because she was a doctor. She was very, as all those Stanley women are, very kind of curt and sharp, sharp, waspish. And what was her job now that she retired? What was